Hello, Richard from BudgetGuitarist.com. If you put out your own music, it's simple enough to get on Spotify and Apple Music with CD Baby or DistroKid, but some people want physical media still. Now, if you want to get a vinyl record made, if you just want to get one made, it's 50 bucks. And if you want to have 10 made, it's a little cheaper, but you're going to lose money making vinyl unless you can sell like 500 or maybe 1,000. But if you want CDs made, it's a lot cheaper. Unfortunately, the minimum order at a lot of well-known places, such as Disc, Disc Master, Disc Maker, what's it called? That big one? The minimum order is 50. So what if you only want to make like five or six or seven? Well, here's the thing. You can make your own CDs on demand and get pro results fairly easily with the right gear. In this video, I'll show you how. Let's go over the stuff you'll need. I have Amazon affiliated links in the description for this video. If you use any of those links, Amazon will send me a little commission money and uh, that helps fund this channel. You're going to need a printer that can print directly on CDs. This Epson XP7100 can print on CDs. It has great print quality. I just bought it in December 2022 and it was only around 200 bucks. Good printer paper. You want something bright and thick enough and double sided. So I suggest Epson Premium Presentation Matte Paper. Works really well. Blank CDs that can be printed on. I like the verbatim CDR white printable CDs. You can also get the silver ones and just print black text on them. But if you put like a, an image on a white CD, it turns out really nice, as you will see. A computer that can burn CDs. Now, this could be Mac or Windows. In this case, I'm using an old MacBook that I got a few years ago for 100 bucks. But you could also buy an external CD burner a computer that can design CD artwork, and some software. I prefer Photoshop, but go online. There's a lot of different options out there for you. Jewel cases. So I like the Max Tech cases. They're inexpensive, and they showed up with none of them broken. That's, that's kind of a big deal. And you know, they're just as good as any of the other ones. You'll need a paper cutter. I'm using a paper cutter that my wife uses for Cricut stuff, and honestly, I don't like it. Uh, if you have a really steady hand, you could just use a pair of scissors, but paper cutter's better. This last one is optional, CD bags, right? So you can buy these CD bags, and if you cut them to size and you use a heat gun, it will shrink wrap the CD. I'm using these uh, Volk Info, Volk Info bags, and I've got a heat gun, and the thing is, I, I would prefer not to shrink wrap it. I like the idea of just putting the CD in the bag and folding it over, but you can do whatever you want. So now let's go through the process. There are templates you can download for Photoshop, and I'm sure there are templates for Microsoft Word or whatever you want to use. Just Google it. So you need to design the cover in the back at a minimum, and then print on some good thick paper like the Epson Premium Presentation Mat that I use. Before you burn the CD, it's time to print. So the Epson printer that I'm using comes with CD printing software. All you have to do is just import whatever image you want to show. And on the XP7100, it is super easy to print. You end up with a glossy, great looking CD. And this looks way better than the black ink with the silver CD that I was getting from one of those big CD duplication companies. With the artwork and the CD printed, you need to prep the audio files to burn. Now here's something I learned the hard way. Modern DVD and Blu-ray players can struggle with burned CDR discs unless you lead each track with about a quarter second of silence. Otherwise, what can happen is the track starts to play and it fades in because the machine can't read it fast enough. 
So in whatever software you use to mix, just add a little bit of silence in the front of each track. Once you've done that, burn a copy and test it on your home DVD or Blu-ray player. And then once you've got that down, burn however many CDs you want to print and manufacture. Sacrifice you 